Today in cannabis news, Bernie Sanders is questioned about President Biden's failed cannabis promises, even though he may have the authority to legalize cannabis on his own. Iconic music icon and now cannabis advocate Beyonce announces she is building a hemp and honey farm after discovering the benefits of CBD on her last tour. And to stop illegal marijuana grows in the state, Oregon launches a hemp inspection program. It's Friday, August 13th, and this is your Tricomes Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricombs.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your morning buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, in a podcast interview with Crystal Ball, Bernie Sanders speaks out about the executive power President Joe Biden has and states that he could and should use executive authority to end federal marijuana prohibition on his own. During the 2020 presidential campaign, Sanders announced that if he was elected into office, he would legalize marijuana on the first day. Turns out the process is extensive and would require a petition to be filed and then reviewed by the attorney general, a scientific review with access to scientific, medical, and public health implications before it can be submitted to the Justice Department. However, the senators who authored the newly introduced bill to federally deschedule cannabis believe there might be hope in changing the president's mind. Next up, Beyonce Knowles Carter has shocked and inspired the world as a musician, wife, mother, and entrepreneur, but the world was not expecting to hear how powerful the use of CBD has been for her. From personal experience, Beyonce was able to eliminate her soreness and inflammation when she discovered CBD during her last tour. In her interview with Harper Bazaar, she announced that she was building a hemp and honey farm. Her famously known husband, Jay-Z, started his own cannabis company and stated, I created Monogram to give cannabis the respect it deserves by showcasing the tremendous hard work, time, and care that goes into crafting a superior smoke. Whether or not the power couple will join and enter the cannabis industry together is unknown at this time. But as a strong celebrity figure, Beyonce's influence will inspire many to look into the benefits of CBD. Influence like that has the potential to open the eyes of many who might not have considered it in the past. Last up, in hopes to eliminate illegal marijuana grows in the state, Oregon launched a hemp inspection program. The program is being considered as first of its kind within the cannabis industry. Regulators have inspected 134 hemp farms so far to collect THC samples. Growers are not given notice when the inspectors come, and they also do not receive their test results. By eliminating illegal operators and organized crime, Oregon hopes that it will help to curb the use of stolen groundwater, diverted surface water, as well as the development of dangerous chemicals and pesticides. So far, during the inspections, there have been no illegal marijuana grows found. And as of July 23rd, Oregon currently has 723 registered growers for indoor and outdoor production on a total of 6,539 acres of land. That was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry-related podcasts like Hash It Out, Tech and Cannabis, or the International Cannabis Conversation wherever you get your podcasts. For trichomes.com, I'm Devin Leal.